Hey everybody, the new uh, series featuring the Indian Gods, I believe, uh, has just dropped. So we are going to take a look at the 5 star limited quest featuring Naga here. And uh, watch out, don't be surprised by this, but oof, looks pretty cool. Um, but everybody will be poisoned basically. There's no way to avoid that, I think. Uh, yeah, pretty much, because all of the meteors are poisoned and the night fires off um, that shockwave in all directions. So. Uh, you are going to be poisoned, but don't worry, uh, you don't necessarily need to bring uh, somebody that has status heal because as you can see the uh, snakes have the uh, blue skulls on them. And if you don't remember, the blue skulls means if you kill everybody with that symbol, um, something will happen. And in this case it is the status clear. So um, necessarily by the end of your uh, end of the turn you will have uh, activated that blast so hopefully you aren't poisoned as the uh, turn finishes um, now you do want to be careful because if you take them down somehow take them down on the first turn before the uh, poison hits um, you know you're not gonna be able to do anything with that uh, healing uh, because you're not poisoned yet and uh, one thing to note is that uh, the poison does take its effect before that uh, healing blast happens so just in case you're like down to the wire, you may be like deciding, oh, I can tank this or I'll, I'll heal myself before that. Um, just do remember that the damage will come before that healing blast happens. Now, otherwise, you know, besides the poison, the only gimmicks you really have to worry about is null gravity barrier. So as long as you bring a team of null gravity barrier monsters, um, you're pretty much set. And I guess I was lucky enough to have a a uh, pre-evolved Lucy, sorry, Lucifer in my uh, list. So, you know, I feel like, well, I don't see that often. Well, I guess I don't really check what my five-star friends list are on a regular basis. But when I saw that, I was like, hey, why not? Let's use Lucy. Um, along there, I have the, uh, was it Black Widow from the uh, Marvel Tsum Tsum collab. And Aramis, of course. I have three of him, so... I might as well have one in his uh, base form and I forget his name. He's from the Yu Yu Hakusho collab, but I don't think he's the one that most people use. It is uh, Iolia? Iolia? Hmm. Sorry, once again, another collab that I'm not very familiar with. Um, but he does have uh, two slayers on him, which actually I think it does help with one of the. Uh, uh, the minions that are in the stage and uh, sorry for that hiccup there um, while I was taking this I got interrupted so I had to take a little quick break um, so but don't worry you didn't miss anything all that happened was uh, me going to the uh, turtle stage so I think all in all it was good timing all right let's go to the boss stage again I mean there is really nothing too difficult about the stage literally make sure you have gravity barriers so that you can move around and just make sure you can deal the damage to the snakes and uh, the poison does do about I think was it 17 yeah 1750 uh, damage per turn so four times four characters that's 7,000 damage so um, that'd be what maybe an eighth of your team health um, remember this is a five star t five star limited quest so you're not gonna have as high HP as you might be used to or comfortable with so uh, just keep that in mind as you're moving along um, but I I do think those birds have a semi strong attack so making sure you clear out your minions uh, promptly is pretty important and as you can see uh, Naga does fire off the uh, poison mist there so if you do bring dupes of characters uh, they will all suffer that damage in one go so make sure you're careful about that as well all right and yeah everybody has their strike shots up which is really great and you know one more thing you should remember is that just because you know what um, their evolved or ascended form has as their strike shot does not necessarily mean that their base form has that same strike shot. So, uh, do you know what Lucy's uh, base form strike shot is? We'll find out in a few. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, I thought this was a pretty straightforward quest, even if it's a 5 star limited, so... Um, I, I do think there's a good amount of monsters out there, even in their 5 star form, that has gravity barrier, so you should at least be able to uh, function through this quest. Uh, maybe I got lucky with this team I picked. As you can see, you know, I, there were no guides out just quite yet. And, uh, um, you know, just seeing that first stage, um, I actually did come into this thinking there would be mines. Because, you know, all of the, uh, all of the featured forms of the uh, Hatcher has, one of their forms has Minesweeper on it. So I thought, eh, maybe this is the one that has the uh, mines in it. But, nope. Uh, there we go, so we're going to go Iolia's strike shot. Unfortunately, time has passed long enough where you can't hear his voice uh, acting anymore. It's a shame, but we all know uh, how money and uh, licensing works, so it can only last so long. So, Aramis's strike shot is just a speed up. And yes, that is what the original of what D'Artagnan says for her strike shot. All for one and one for all. Uh, Alright, Lucy Strike Shot. Yes, it is just a speed up, so not as exciting as you would have hoped. And that's actually pretty some lucky positioning there for Lucy getting in between those two snakes. So now we don't have to worry about any extra damage. Um, Black Widow, um, you want to hit the uh, a target first, and then wherever you end up, that. Uh, the connecting line, it'll fire that uh, pulse out and it'll do damage anything in the way. Pretty cool strike shot to say the least. And we'll just finish it off here. Picking up the sword for no good reason. And there you go, that is Naga. So again, uh, to wrap up. There is poison, so I guess if you have the, uh, what, what is it, the poison berry, the one that re reduces damage, that could help, but honestly, probably not necessary. Um, otherwise, just make sure you stack no gravity berry monsters, and I think it's a pretty straightforward quest. Um, Alright, that is it for Naga. Um, there are plenty of more quests coming this week, since... Uh, Oh yeah, don't forget, if you do complete all difficulties, you do get that chance for one free roll at the uh, current hatcher. So make sure you do your due diligence, clear all the stages, and until next time, bye-bye.